if you go just by what people are saying, and when people see injustice, they see things going on in society, and they want to, by force, uh, overthrow the systems that be, you would think that if Jesus embraced that as part of the kingdom, he would have gone along, but he did not go along. And that's the cautionary tale that we must see about ourselves in these modern times. Do we see ourselves as pulled by the forces and the political system that we stop preaching the gospel and we take on a liberation theology? We have to be very, very, very uh, discerning, be very, very careful that we keep the main things, the main things. As I said at the beginning, it's an insult to call Jesus a revolutionary in the sense of a political system. He is the savior of the world. He came to die for Jew and Gentile alike. Let's keep the main thing, the main thing. In conclusion, maturity is not measured by age. Maturity is measured by acceptance of responsibility. In the final analysis, it's not what I think or you think. What does God think? What does God say about the stances we take, about what we believe? God knows more than we do. He knows what the priorities ought to be and what the priorities ought not to be. So the best we can do is to follow God's prescription. It's interesting in Philippians chapter 3, Paul makes a very interesting statement that he counts everything but loss for Christ. But there's something else he says after he goes making an evaluation of all those things that he counted as great in his life personally. For Christ's sake, he counted them but loss, but then he goes on to say, he admonishes us in Philippians chapter 3 and verse 15. Listen very closely to what Paul says. He says in verse 15, all of us then who are mature should take such a view of things. And if on some point you think differently, that God will make clear to you. And let us live up to what we have already attained. Join together in following my example, brothers and sisters, just as you have of us as a model. Keep your eyes on those who live as we do. So Paul is telling us very clearly that the prescription for kingdom-minded success lies in putting Christ first in everything we do, not getting caught up with the systems of this world, because the systems of this world have a different agenda from the system that God prescribes. And so we have to be mindful of this in everything that we set our hands to do. We have to make sure that we do not uh, join alliances with ungodly causes, join alliances with people that fight what the Bible stands for and what the mission of the church is. If we are caught up in liberation theology and doing all the social uh, works and checking the box on all these issues, but in the final analysis, we ignore the kingdom mandate, we have failed. And Paul was anti-multitasking. Paul was anti-putting on or taking on different types of roles that neutralized the gospel. That's a very radical stance. And that radical stance puts you at odds with what the world wants. It's, always, it's even what the Bible says, I'd rather you be hot or cold. No neutral spot here when it comes to the kingdom. I think the gospel undiluted is what is meant to be. That's how Jesus wanted to say, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. That's how Jesus approached it. That's how Paul approached it. And Paul clearly says here in Philippians chapter 3, verse 15, that this is the example that we are supposed to follow if we consider ourselves mature in Christ. So it's very clear. The, the, the line is drawn. 
the position we should take is very clear. No one can decide for you, but you have to decide for yourself. Don't be forced into taking a position that favors the world and puts down the church. Don't favor a cause that attacks believers standing for the word because it is anti the cause that you seem to be drawn to. You have to take a clear stand, and the stand that you ought to take is a stand that advances the kingdom of God. This is the kind of times we live in, and I will submit to you that persecution is coming. Persecution like we've never seen before. Some of the things we've read about, we're going to start seeing in our day and age. So we need to be prepared and mature and make sure that we stand for what is biblical and what is right. And that's what God demands of us. Not man, but that's what God demands of us, to take a stand for the gospel. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in to the Vision Guided Life. As we usually say, transformation takes place through identification with Christ. God bless you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like, and share.